in some way, yes, uh, I'm surprised because uh, the king, King Vajrayongon, did mention a while ago that uh, he would ask the prime minister to stop using less majesty law against critics of the monarchy. But uh, the return of less majesty seemed to suggest desperate measure on the part of the palace and also uh, the government in going after the, the protester, knowing that uh, the protests seem to continue and, and go on. So they hope that this could be a, this could be a way to stop them from continue, continuing the protests. Yeah. It seems as though the protesters are not stepping back. Uh, we've got live pictures coming out of Bangkok tonight showing uh, thousands and thousands of people on the streets. Um, do you think they are going to, con going to continue to defy these orders to stay home? And, of course, you can't lock up all of them. Yes, of course. Uh, it seems like they, they want to continue, despite the fact that uh, the leaders are face, facing uh, charges of less majesty. But even among the, the core leaders, they already told the media and also the public that uh, even with the charge, they still want to continue. Even they would be locked up, please use their case, you know, I mean, for the people at home to continue to come out and then to ask for the immediate reform of the monarchy. If there's a crackdown and uh, the military comes out onto the streets or the army, the, uh, the police, won't it just get more international scrutiny? Oh, definitely. Right now, there are two options uh, when it comes to dealing with the protester, either for them to launch a deadly crackdown against the protester or state another military coup. Both of them will get punished for sure, you know, by the international communities. Uh, a lot of Western government have already expressed, you know, their willingness uh, to, to basically monitor and also impose sanction if necessary, should the two options really take place. So, yeah, definitely what, whatever going on in Thailand already put the country under the world spotlight. What is your sense of how solid the government's position is at the moment? I think uh, it's very difficult to, to predict and or, or to think, you know, uh, I think the government basically make the, make a decision, in my opinion, on a daily basis. Yeah, that they all, they only look at short term a uh, solution without thinking, you know, for long term. For one thing, the king has not come out up to this point uh, to to really seriously discuss and then to talk about the protest. So, I mean, we already have this kind of discussion before in this program uh, for, the fact that, for the fact that the king has remained silent. I think that would also make the position of the government very difficult as well. Yeah. There's also, interestingly enough, been some clarification around what action Germany could take given how much time the king actually spends there. Well, sure. Uh, right now, you know, it has become sort of a big issue in Germany. I myself had a chance to talk to a representative of the Green Party, you know, whose member raised this issue in the parliament, in the German parliament uh, recently. Uh, I have been reassured that, again, should the two options take place in Thailand, Germany, also uh, the, the, the president of the European Union, would definitely impose sanctions against Thailand. And then while uh, waiting for that thing to happen, hopefully it won't happen, I think Germany have a, have a, a keep a watchful eye on uh, King Washington and there is so much talk about whether he could return to Germany. Interesting stuff, Pavan. Always good to get your thoughts. Thanks so much.